Oh, it closes it. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriella and this is Makeup Rich with Gabby. Welcome back to another video. Even though I already said that, that's fine. Today we're going to be doing a full face or a full glam makeup look. Why? Because why not? This is the time to practice all of these looks because when you go outside, one's all of this craziness in the world is over. You're gonna be going outside and you're gonna wanna show up. So let's just practice while we're in quarantine or while we're social distancing. And that's it. I am currently wearing my PJs because why not? It's 5 p.m. No, I'm not going to bed soon, but I wanna be comfortable. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna keep on, wanna learn the look that I'm gonna do, keep on watching. What am I saying? This is all new to me. And please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you didn't, well then, I'm sorry. Not really. That's fine. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. That only took me like an hour and a half. Jesus. And my eyebrows did not look the same for a moment. And like, they're still kind of like, looking more like sisters and not twins. But that's okay, you know. We just, we just go with the flow, guys. We just go with the flow. Alright, so for today's video, we're going to be using the... Pretty Rich by Too Faced palette and it looks like this from the inside. I'm really excited. This is one of my favorite like palettes from Too Faced and I say that even though I haven't really reached out for it lately but like I still love it. I haven't really played around with like the blue shade over here or like the gray sh shade, like this two over here. Last week I tried to film this same video with natural light, but I just wasn't really comfortable. So I'm just gonna recreate the look that I did that day. Anyway, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna go with the shade. I think I started with the shade Fancy Dot. Why did I say it like that? What? Anyway, so Fancy Dot, which is this shade over here. And we're just taking that in a big blending brush or a big uh, fluffy blending brush. I know that this one has a lot of fallback so when you tap on the pan you can see that it, uh, a lot of it kind of like pops up and there's no problem with that with me. I don't really mind it. I'm just putting that on my crease to deepen out the shade. It's a little bit darker than the normal like transition shade that I use and you can really build it up so just be careful, it blends really easily. What I love. As you can see, there is a lot of fall, fall back there. It's not a big of a deal. I really don't mind. So now I'm gonna take the shade, oh, oh, that's rich. Which is this one over here. And I'm taking that with an angled brush. I want to make a more of a triangle shape with my eyes. Up here, so I'm starting down here. And then I'm making that triangle shape. And I'm bringing it a, a little bit up higher because I want to lift my eyes up. So I'm just dabbing it where I want it. And I'm blending it right away. I do find that, oh, that's a lot. That with the shades, you have to like blend quickly, which is not necessarily a good thing, but they are very blendable. All right, so that's good enough for now. Being that, actually, I'm gonna take a different brush. Using actually this brush here, a smaller brush. I'm not a big fan of black shades having sparkles on them because I find that they are harder to blend, but it's okay, we will survive. I do like the shade, and you can't really see the sparkles when you put it off, so that's fine. Using the shade Coal Under Pressure is this black sparkly shade there and we're gonna use that on our outer corner only you can see that I'm only placing it there and that's exactly where I want it I'm just gonna grab my blending brush I, I grabbed the clean one and now I'm just blending and blending as much as I can I don't want to bring it up too high because I find that it just makes the look look it makes the eyes can I speak English? I just find it just makes it look dirty, like the whole look looks dirty. So 
I just try and keep it here and just want to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And remember that with darker shades, you start with a little bit and then you work your way to the shade that you want. So dab a little bit, blend it, dab a little bit more until you get that shade that you want. Just because it's easier to darken things up than to lighten things up. So today we want to go a little bit more darker on this look. I think I'm gonna leave it this dark and then if I wanna add something, if I wanna make it darker, I can. And now we're gonna be taking the shade Set the Jewel Tone, which is this one here. It's a nice, like, dark, it's like a mix of a blue, purple, and sparkles. I don't know how to explain it. And I'm taking that with my finger, dabbing it. I really like the shade. I did add some of these sparkles last time. Why not? Oh, this one's over here, which are Diamond Life. Normally you would put glitter glue on, but I don't. Actually, I don't have any glitter glue. My eyes are pretty sensitive, so I don't normally use glitter, but I did find that this was kind of cute. It just make it made it pop a little bit more. They're kind of like clear sparkles also you don't have to add the sparkles at the end you can just leave it with the blue and that's fine but we're being hella extra today we're gonna move on to eyeliner and we are gonna be wearing fake eyelashes as well so i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty fly pencil long wear pencil eyeliner looks like this and this is in the shade black. And I'm just gonna be doing my lash line with this eyeliner. For my eyeliner, we're actually doing a wing eyeliner today. You don't have to do a wing eyeliner, but I want to, so we're gonna do one. I'm using the Stella Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It looks like this. Uh, in the shade black, of course. And I've used this a couple of times. Okay, I'm not gonna talk while I do the eyeliner because it's just not gonna turn out well. So let me speed through here. It does not look the same, but that's okay. We're just gonna, I screwed it up. It's okay. We're gonna put a fake eyelashes on. Don't worry if you screw up your eyeliner. It's been a really long time since I've done a wing eyeliner on both my eyes, so this is what happened. Practice makes perfect. Okay, okay, we're gonna move on because you know. Um, I'm gonna be putting my fake eyelashes on. Sorry, I'm gonna put fake um, mascara on first. I really screwed up my eyeliner there. Also, I'm just gonna speed through this as well because it might take us a very long time. When in doubt, put fake eyelashes on. I always say that once you put eye fake eyelashes, you can't really see the things that happen here as it don't go right. AKA my eyeliner today. That's fine. I also haven't had fake eyelashes on in a really long time. So this is like, this is really, really weird for me right now. Okay, so let's move on to the rest of the face. <laughs> for primer, uh, this is a primer that I got at the beginning of quarantine and I've really, really been liking it. This is the Makeup Revolution Pore Blur primer so it's a blur and prime primer what does that mean i don't know there you go it looks like this i truly find that it blurs my pores so really good for foundation i'm going to be using the dior backstage body and face foundation this is in the shade 
three, but I think it might be too light for me right now because I'm pretty damned. So I might be going with four or I might do a mix of two. We'll see. A little too late for me right now. Just hope that the 4N, which is 4 neutral, will be too dark. Not that it matters because I'm not going anywhere. A little bit more orange. I actually just put it in the same place that I put the other one on. So, mm, yeah, this is more. It's a little bit more me right now. Actually, I might do a mix of both. Let's mix things up. And I'm just mixing it up in my hand. I don't know why I was doing the dots. Yeah, this is the perfect shade. So technically I should be buying like, probably like 3.5N. I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender. Actually, this is a Real Techniques blending sponge. Take a little bit of the 4N and dab it on top of this layer. I think that's just gonna warm up my face a little bit more. Now, oh, let's close everything. For concealer, I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shade Tape and the shade Tan Sand. Did I say what I use for my eyebrows? I don't think so. Anyways, this is what the tar shape tape looks like. Just gonna pull that out. You saw that I placed like two uh, lines right there that really just lifts up the face. What do you lifts up? Oh. So sore. We went zip lining yesterday with my boyfriend's family, and I am so sore. My upper body is in pain. Four. We're gonna be doing some contour today, cause why not? Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna set my under eyes just because they do tend to crease easily. I have a lot of bags under there. And I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's been uh, it's been a while since I've used it. I'm taking a flat brush to set this. And for contour, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Cream Contour in the shade Chestnut or Cheeks Out. No, that's the name of of the actual contour. Uh, this is Honey Glaze. So this is zero four Honey Glaze. And I don't think I've ever used it before. I always do this to myself. I'm just taking this on a brush. Oh yeah. Flaky. Definitely a lot warmer than the Tantor that I have from Huda Beauty. I really like it. Oh. Fancy Beauty getting me snatched. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Eve, Eve Roche, I think it is it. Yeah, Eve Roche blush in the shade Botan Botanical Color Brush, which is this one. It's like, um, I guess like this is a PG color and it goes well with this because it's more on like the neutral side. <laughs> What am I doing? I need to set my face first. Ah. We're setting our face now with the same uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Another powder that I haven't used in a while. Okay, so bronzer. We're going to be using the, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Or I think this is in the shade Soleil. So this is Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. And that's going to be our... A bronzer and this one's a little bit more on the neutral side so I think it's gonna balance perfectly that warmer tone of the contour that we have 
Okay, now we're going with blush. Now I can get excited about blush. We're using the blush that I was talking about earlier. It's actually one of my favorite blushes because it just goes with anything. Any makeup look that you want. And you guys know I love me some blush. So I'm gonna put a lot without looking like a clown. Now we're going to take the Mother of Dragons highlight palette by Urban Decay featuring Game of Thrones. It looks like this. And I'm gonna mix this two shades over here, which is the Dragon and Firezone. Firezone? Firezone? I'm just gonna give that little like mix of both shades. I'm gonna make it pop. That's a lot of nose highlight there, but that's fine. We're gonna finish our eyes. So I'm gonna take the shade, the first shade that we use, which is Fancy That, and we're gonna put it all over our lower lash line with a flat brush. And then I'm taking the black shade with the really small pointy brush, and I'm just gonna put that on my outer, like really make it like a smoky eye. And then grabbing a little bit more of the first shade, and just a tiny little bit more of the black shade. And for my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to be using the shade Fire Sun, oh, which is this one. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner here and my brow bone as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. I'm using the Bad Gal by Benefit, and this is the same one I used on my eye, on my upper, on my, on my lashes. And for lips, for lips, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton, which is the shade. It's like a I don't know how to call it. So for setting spray, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. It was so refreshing after putting a full face of makeup to just spray some setting spray on you. All right guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making this look. Don't forget eyeliner. Sometimes you will mess it up. Just put on a pair of fake eyelashes and you are good to go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.